Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's the daughter of one of music's most decorated divas, Diana Ross, and Motown's founder, Barry Gordy. With a musical style all her own, reared in a smooth mix of jazz, funk, and gospel, she continues to write her own story, a story using her famous family line and promising future. Please welcome the beautiful Rhonda Ross. Yay! <laughs> Amazing energy. How you doing? I'm great. It's so good, good to see you. Well, you looking lovely. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. absolutely. You too. You all is beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, yes, yes. So let's jump right into it. Oh, I, I mean, you're good. from a. Uh, here's yours, baby. You're okay, from a family of that. lots and lots of talent. You know, yeah. musically, obviously, thespians. How did you find your way, your space? Yes, thank with you. This, well, uh, you know, family. I've always been. <laughs> following it, mm -hmm. looking for what is what is mine. Yes. Right. Ever since I was a little girl, when my mother would sing "God Bless the Child" on stage, mm -hmm. and that line that you know God God gives to that those who are following their own, right, yes. right, own. absolutely. And so I knew from a young age that I could get famous mm -hmm. by uh, going after my mother's uh, being on her coattails and mm -hmm. whatever. But it would never be mine. Yeah. It would never be something that I could wake up to in the morning and feel good about myself and look at myself in the mirror right. and and know that I was really following my own calling yeah. so so from a young age I followed my own calling, whatever yeah. that looked like to me, yeah. the kind of music I wanted to do, the things I wanted to talk about, yeah. the way I wanted to be in the world, the way I wanted to have relationships in my life, all of that, yeah. I, I, I followed that. Yeah. And so it wasn't necessarily the fastest way to fame, but what it has allowed is it allowed me to be in my own body, mm -hmm. be true to myself, mm -hmm. be authentic, mm -hmm. you know, and have my own my own walk that's truly mm -hmm. mine. Well, what know? was it like to jump off the porch and just say, you know, I'm gonna do my own thing although you know your mom you know she's this mega star and your father I mean it, he is the pioneer of music what was it truly like for you to say you know what I know I have big shoes to follow you know but I gotta do me what was that like well, was it nervous for you were you well, nervous about it well I, I wasn't because what I saw in them was that they did their own thing mm -hmm. right ah. so they always followed their own their their own the, the beat of their own drum yeah. you know they yeah. always did yeah. despite what uh, society was telling them they could or could not accomplish they followed their own and and all the way through even now they are living their own lives authentic yes. to who they are yes. nobody's trying to be something on on IG or trying to be <laughs> Girl, you know what I mean? IG, huh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not trying to be anybody else but who they are. Right. And what I got to be raised with were authentic human beings mm -hmm. following their, their dreams, you yeah. know, authentic. And so people assume that because I was raised around the fame and all of that, that right. that, that would have been so tempting. But what was what was clear to me was that they were authentic yeah. and I was going to be authentic. Yeah. And if I wanted to live my life, I had to be that. So yeah. as a social artist, how do you draw from what we see in the world and couple that with your own personal walk mm -hmm. to give mm -hmm. the music that you give yes. to the world. Yes. Well, you know, I, I try to make the kind of music that I want to listen to. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. love music that encourages encourages me, empowers me, mm -hmm. makes me know who I am. Makes you feel good. Makes me Happiness. feel makes me feel good, makes me feel happy, but makes me feel empowered. Mm -hmm. You know? I think that that's that's a big part of what we're missing, it I sure think, is. in this in this uh, society right now. It we're is. missing <clears throat> the knowledge that we are powerful beings. Yeah. We are able, you know, we don't have to look to anybody else to give us any of our power back. We have it all inside of us. Yes. And I like to write about that. That's what I talk about with my girlfriends. That's what I that's what I do. Rhonda, why yeah. do you feel that women are so afraid to tap into that power? Ooh. Ooh. Let's talk about that. <laughs> 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 you know, because I got my girl down here. I yeah. want to know, like, yeah. seriously, yeah. why do you think we are so afraid to just say we are powerful or we kind of have to keep that hidden. Yeah, I think honestly, first of all, because we are very powerful mm -hmm. and there have been a lot of uh, uh, um, consequences huh. to that power, yes. right? A lot of a lot of forces trying to make us, not, as women, as black folk, yes. make us not know that power. There's mm -hmm. a lot of reasons why it's easier for others if we don't know that power and we don't mm -hmm. tap into that power, right? Mm -hmm. So there are, so there are, 
there are real reasons, um, real consequences that that make us afraid to tap into it. But what we what we don't realize is when we do tap into it, the power that we get from source, the power that we Ooh, get from spirit yes, that, yes. That, that 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 combines with undeniable, our, undeniable. Man. You know, you're giving me chills. You, That's right there. <laughs> yes, you know, if spirit <laughs> before you, who can be against you, kind of thing. Love that. And we, but but it's hard to know that before you before you tap into it. Rhonda, yes. stay right there. And we want you guys to stay right there. We have more with Rhonda Ross. Ross, when she's when we return, yes. she's on fire and honey, I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, we are back with international social artist Rhonda Ross, who is just just beautiful, absolutely inside and out. Thank so you. let's talk about your new book that yes, you're working yes. on. Yes, well, I have a series of books okay. coming out, and they're all uh, they're memoir based, but they're all about personal power. Okay, mm. it's all about taking responsibility and accountability for who we are yeah. and how we're going to be in this world, how yeah. we're going to love ourselves, how we're going to love others, yeah. how we're going to feel our power, right? How we're going to feel our power. Did you find that coming along more as you became a mom? Mm. Yes, well, that was huge for me. Mm -hmm. uh, my son is 10 years old, Raif Hanak. Some people saw him uh, on the Grammys yes. introducing my, yes. my uh, yes, and he introduces us at our shows. Yes. Um, yeah, and we have been, filling him with self-love from, mm -hmm. from day one and self-accountability and mm. self-power that he knows that his yes. happiness comes from inside. And that's the kind of thing I write about in, in my books, but uh -huh. also in my public speaking and also in my music. That's, yes. what, that's what I'm about. That's what we do. It's a mix of, it's that, it's that mix of personal growth and spiritual growth and connection mm -hmm. and funk. Yes. <laughs> speaking of funk, she's going to be bringing it down. Yes. Right. Uh, the people tell me you're, you're in Atlanta. <laughs> I'm, at City Winery. I'm performing at City Winery tomorrow night, November yeah. 5th yes. at 8 o'clock. And I'm going to be at City Winery in D.C. on the 11th. I'm yes. doing the City Winery tour. Yes. Uh, I'm doing Cheryl Lee Ralph's Divas okay. yes. um, in L.A. on December 1st. And so, you know, people can find me at my website, mm -hmm. TheRondaRoss.com. Yes. And also on, on social media, TheRondaRoss. Come yeah. find me. Uh, I'm busy, doing baby. Come find me. Honey. <laughs> Just, <laughs> energy. Want a nice good talk. Come on. Yes. Yes. Talk. Yes. Talk. I, I, energy. I, I like that. I like yeah, that. I love so it. listen, I love thank it. you so much, dear, yeah, for joining us. You. And I know you're going to be on fire tomorrow. Yes, uh, Come on, everything it. Rhonda has going on, you definitely want to visit her website, yes. RhondaRoss.com. Uh, and she's going to be in ATL. She's performing tomorrow at the City Winery. Get yes. your tickets today. Let's do it. And the conversation always continues. This is Circle TV on all social media platforms. The one and only Rhonda Ross. Yes. yes. Thank honey. you, yes. sister. Oh, yes. <laughs> happy to know you. <laughs> us too. Us yeah, too. Happy to know.